What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? <sighs> and <clears throat> sad situation dealing with one of my favorite TikTok truck drivers. Unfortunately, she had a family emergency. And uh, she went down, took some time off, only to find out that she was terminated. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Was out over the road for four months consecutive, which was really crazy. However, I tried to get home within those four months. I finally got home only because of family emergency. September 17th, my mother had a massive stroke. And when I got that call, I was like nine Less than nine days away from my approved time off. Let's just say it like that. Less than nine days. I was in Ohio on my way making it down south. I got a call from my family. I had to call my company. They seemed very understanding. Everything was cool. Okay, let's get you home. So it took me two days to get home, but I got home. When I got home, Days later, they wanted to release her, but it took about a week. It took about a week for them to release her. However, the sixth day I was home, I got a call from my driving manager offering me a load that had me away from home four to five days. I thought about it because I'm like, I don't know when my mother's coming home. It'll be something quick to go get some money, come back. But Speaking to my family, my family was like, no. We don't drive our manager, no. I wasn't going back over the road just yet. I'm waiting on my mother to come out of the hospital. It was like her whole tone changed. And it was like, okay, well, you need to go clean out your truck. Now, I'm just a year in. In my mind, I'm thinking, I already got my approved time off. That's starting right about now. I'm like, I'm going to be cool until October 13th. I was taking two, almost three weeks off. But at this point, because I came home early, it was like a month. So I already scheduled to take three weeks off. I've been out for four months. I really ain't seen my mother in eight. I ain't seen my mother in eight months. My birthday was in May. I didn't even see my mother. I haven't seen her in eight months. And the first time I'm seeing her after eight months is after she had a massive stroke. So, I'm like, you know, I'm not stressing. I'm like, cool. All right. I'll go clean out my truck. And I'm thinking by October 13th, I have some arrangements made and I'll be able to get in a new truck and keep going and make my way back to be home with my mother. I get a message from somebody that put me on with Hirschbach and said, hey, I heard you quit and I heard what happened about your mom. And I'm keeping you in my prayers. But I would think I had a proof time off set up. I had a proof time set off. Uh, a proof time set up. Then I had a family emergency. I thought at least you'd give me the time of my approved time off to get myself straight. But no, they fired me. They say I quit. And that's not what my driver manager told me. She just said, we got to move your stuff out the truck. The truck is a new truck. It's sitting and it can't sit. Driver, such a sad, sad situation that happened to this young lady. Uh, shout out to my blue hair trucker, Sade. You guys could check out uh, her interview. I had a, con a great conversation with her. Um, yeah, this this is such a sad situation to hear. You know, your mother falls ill to a stroke, massive stroke, could have lost her life threatening type stroke. Here's this young lady is, you know, that's her mom's. She's thousands of miles away feeling helpless. So she gets on a horn, calls the company Hirschbach, Hirschbach, 
Yes, we're calling you out, Hirsch Bach. She calls the, the, the driver manager to let them know that, hey, I need to get home. Now, let me, let me give a shout out to you, Hirsch Bach, for getting this young lady home. But you, but you deserve a big L for trying to get this young lady to come back out over the road in a time of her family crisis. It's all about the freight with y'all, man. And I get that. But don't you, you, you got thousands of uh, 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 other drivers that can handle that for you. But yet you're gonna get mad at this particular driver and say, hey, clean out your truck. But she already was approved for her approved time off. So was she would have had to clean out the truck still? Now, I understand that there might be uh, uh, maybe a time limit or something like that. You know, if you're going to take more than a couple of weeks off. Because y'all y'all got to continue to recycle the trucks, right? Right. But yet y'all going to get mad at this young lady right here because she refused the freight because her mom was still in in limbo right there. She wanted to be home for her mother. She wanted to see her mother. She wanted to make sure that her mother was all right, Hirschbach. So, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to hold up for a little bit. Let me give me a chance to make sure that my mom's is all right and her affairs are in order. And then your attitude going to change. Oh, well, you need to go and clean out your truck. For what? Why do I need to go and clean out my truck? Because I, I, re, because I wanted to be home with my, my, my mother, my family. That's why. See, big companies, man, you guys don't have no compassion. But see, just like Sade said, if that was your mother or father or anybody in a situation, you could just get up and go. Us truck drivers don't have that luxury if something happens. We don't. When we get a phone call or something happens, we are already bang with a stressful situation of not being there when it happened. So now we got to we, we got to rely on some person sitting behind the desk to get us home, man. Eh? Now, not all companies is that way. No, 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 no. Not all companies is that way. My company, something happened to me recently. I got a hold of my my uh my my ops manager, let him know what happened, and guess where I'm going. Guess where I'm going. Shout out to my company again last year. I was out for like three months. They sent me roses, they sent me this little car and everything. They wanted to make sure that I was all right before they start talking about, oh, okay, well, go and clean out your truck and bring it here. They made sure that I was all right. It was like lockout. Yo, here's a couple of dollars. Go and get the truck washed, and let's get back to making this money. I said thank you. Big companies, mega companies, y'all can't do that? Y'all can't do that? Y'all can't show no type of com uh, compassion? Y'all can't? That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't understand. That's why y'all that that's why y'all losing. Y'all losing mega carriers. Y'all losing good drivers because of because of ill-fated fleet managers and 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 dispatchers. Shout out to Sade. I'm glad she was able to make it home. My prayers is with her and her family. Hope her mom's is all right. Guys, let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. And if anything like this ever happened to you, let me know in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me out?